How about the weather? You ready for the storm this weekend? That's what you're getting. Yeah. Do you realise you have to be 18 to buy this? I'm 18. You got any ID? I left it in my car. Your car? Yeah. So you're saying that outside the shop, you, your car's parked there? Yeah. You got any keys? That's a house key. I must have lost my car key again. You know what I think? What? You're just buying this to take out to your friends. Quick laugh. Alright, level with me. It's that my mum's put a blocker on the router, so I'm reduced to this. £20. Elaborate. I'll give you £20. £20 to facilitate a crime. Twenty-five. All right. No, Take your pawn, no, and next time, go find some in the woods like it's nineteen ninety-nine. All right. Thank you. Get out of there. Yeah, Hey, I missed you last night. Oh, sorry, I didn't want to, uh, didn't want to wake you. I'm fine with it. Where are you going? Uh, I'm going to go into school. Is that safe with the storm and everything? Oh, yeah, we're we'll fine. It's like it's last night. Sorry. I love you. It ruins my plans of flying a paper kite tonight. How's the shop? Disturbing. It's truly the stuff of nightmares. I saw the working Rorschach mask the other day. Rorschach? He's my favourite superhero. It's just a shame that he's got a picture of my pets fighting on his mask. <laughs> How are you doing? I feel like a saggy, leaky, shit piñata. I feel like I've about, got about as much control of my life as a chimp. Why do you feel like that? <sighs> Honestly, I don't know anymore. I don't know what's going on. It's like Sam tells me everything I have to do, where to do it, and I just sort of do it. So it's lack of communicating information? Yeah, but seriously, Ben, have you got any advice for me? Just go have a nap. You're burnt out. You need some time to think everything out. I'll be there if you need to text me. No, seriously, this storm is getting horrible. We've got to go. Are you asleep? No. No. I didn't see you. I was just resting my eyes. Look, I've been at uni all day, alright? I don't I don't even know what's about being a state. And I don't want to have to tell you what to do all the time. It's my day off. How was it in the city? It was dull and grey and all the Buildings are the same in concrete, and there's a few malnourished trees. Better than here. Really? Yeah. Everyone, everything's better there. The people. My daily interactions are limited to OAPs who you think have broken lines a good bargain. 
Yeah, it's happened to you the right one. Yeah, the folks who just gets harassed and occasionally has to call ambulances for tramps having seizures. I'm sure say more. I would like that. Uh, all right, I'm going to propose something. Go for it. We have a queue all weekend together. We're stuck in Texas in the storm anyway, so we might as well make the most of it. I have. Oh, no. Well, please need this. Sleep well? Yeah. Um, a whole bunch of a uh, sitting around doing nothing. What's that? Power cut. Send the juice box. You want to do it? No. I suppose I don't have choice, do I? Nope. What's that? Are you okay? I've just been zapped. What are we meant to do? What's the protocol here? Protocol? Do I need to go to hospital? No, why? I've just been bloody zapped. I could have died. Literally, just said I could have died. Why is this bothering you so much? I don't mean to upset you, but like, is this a shock? Imagine there's a sweet little lamb. It's dead. It isn't right. It was alive yesterday, and now it's gone. It didn't know when it was its last day. What? I mean, isn't it better for the lamb to not know that it was its last day? You know, in this weird lamb story, isn't it better so that the lamb doesn't have to stress about going to die? No! It never got a chance to do all the things it wanted to do. It never ticked off its bucket list. The lamb's bucket list? No! My bucket list! The lamb is me. If I die tomorrow, what if it's my last day? I don't even know it. Any day could be our last day. Exactly, and that's why I'm freaking out. Because we don't always get to know our expiry dates, you know? Unless I get cancer or AIDS or some shit like that. I don't know when I'm going to die. Car accidents, brain aneurysms, they don't come with a warning. You want to know when you're going to die? Yes! If I knew when we were going to die, I guarantee procrastination would no longer be a problem. Then do that. Don't wait for someone else to say how to live your life. The only person you need is yours. What? What would Aiden do? What would you do if you had a million pounds? What? You and me, what would you do if you had a million pounds? I'd study engineering, make stuff. Then go back to school and do that. Nothing's stopping you. What if I just fuck it up like I always do? You try again. You keep trying until you get it right. What about you? What about me? Are you really checking up all the boxes in your sort of life? You went to a good school. You get a good degree to get a good job. And that's what you want? Yes. No. I, I don't know. You realise that's every possible answer, right? Sure. What would you do if you had a million pounds? I'd do something small. Like working on the shop. Then what's stopping you? You know as well as I do. You can't change that though. The only thing you can change is how you live your life. Don't live it by other people's standards. Don't hinder yourself to try and make me happy. It doesn't work. This is it, isn't it? I think so. It's not a bad thing though. No, yeah, it's small. You live your life. You never know, live yours. It's for the best. You want to say I'll take a kite? No, no, don't give up. You have a kite to open for me. Been ready in a long time for the store. Oh shit. I was not. 